Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome to the first ever pre-season slash season preview 2019-20 Skybet Championship Football season starts very very soon. But this is of course the first pre-season preview. Buddha versus Graz AK takes place today at 4 p.m. And this is going to come out literally about an hour and a half before the kickoff, so I apologise if anybody's expecting this video any sooner. There's some things to do, but I'm here now recording it. So, got to the key. What do I know without looking at my little bit of notes there? Well, I know quite a bit because, of course, I've got some notes here. So, let's just go through. Got to the key, playing the Austrian second division, but he actually did go and win the Austrian Bundesliga back in the 2003-2004 season. Season later, Europa League, played Buddha. I mean, uh, the 17th of February is when we both first played them, 2005. Uh, we actually drew 2-2 away. Uh, Bolo was ending, and Jimmy Floyd has a bank score on that uh, night. About a week later, we played them at the Riverside, beat them 2-1. And it was on the 24th of February, 2005. And that was the last time we played Grazia de K. Of course, today, kickoff is 4pm. The stadium that we're playing in isn't Grazia de K's um, home stadium. Unless it is, it's been changed of name. It's now called the Christoph Industries Arena. David Proeb or David Prieb, Prieb, that's the name of the manager, founded in 1902. And what we've got down here as well is my probable line, but I think this is the line that I want to see today. I can give it out nice and early and then have a little bit more of a talk on the game. I think Randolph will probably go in goal. I think, but well, in these pre seasons, they're normally switching between each goalkeeper, so it might be the fact that Randolph gets the first half, Mejias or Pez gets it, but against Gateshead, Pez could start and Randolph can go second half. It's normally how it goes. There's going to be a total, total change, you can imagine, um, to the start of 11 that starts. Then, of course, second half, 11 new players will come on, and then we'll obviously get a feel for it. So, the 11 that I think, well, listen, I don't know what will start, but this is what I'm going to go with. Ryan Shot on my stay at right back. Nathan Wood, Ayala and Friend. Tavernier, Wing, Savile, Johnson, Braithwaite and Fletcher. That is just a rough little idea, for all I know. Creighton could be in there, uh, who else could be in there, Dale Fry at the back, you could have Steve Walker up top, uh, you could have Hayden Hackney somewhere inside the midfield, it does, yeah, you same, I mean, we don't know these things, that's just a line that I'm just giving off the top of my head, just a random player that play for the border who flew to Austria, I put it to a line up, and if I'm anywhere near it, if I'm anywhere near right, happy days, but in terms of our preparation, the players look like it's tough out there in Austria, but it also looks like they're enjoying it, Adam Clayton's come out and said there's a bit of like a, uh, Sort of like a sort of like a buzz inside the chair dressing room. Adam Clay, I mean, should I say Aidan Flynn saying that uh, you know what I mean? Us fans have something to look forward to in the new season. All stuff that you know what I mean. All stuff that we all want to see as Butter fans. Um, of course, Wednesday night, Butter do play a game for the Gates had away. Master Day vlog coming for you there. I can't wait to go to that game purely because it's a new ground to take off and it's a chance to see the Butter in pre-season coming to the new season. Because I'll be completely honest with you, not being able to watch the Butter. But how many months it's been since the season finished has absolutely killed me. And I'm sure many of the Butter fans, all we want to do is go back to watch the Butter, play season or not. We just want to go and watch our lads in the red and white colours. So, overall today, I know it doesn't really mean much. It means pre-season. I mean, the result doesn't really mean anything. But for confidence, for morale inside the camp, to keep everybody's spirits high, you want to see us win. Do you know what I mean? If we get beat... It's kind of like a little bit of a downfall to the dressing room. After, I mean, he messed up or he messed up. That's why Butter lost the game. Ideally, if Butter can go through his whole pre-season, prepare well, and by prepare well, win every single game or even go and beat inside the pre-season, come Luton on a Friday night, we should be full of confidence, ready to take on the championship. If we have gone into the pre-season and like we did a bit like last season, we're about to sort of hitting and missing these pre-season games, you got the first game of the season, and nobody's really up for it. So, ideally, ideally today, I do want to see a win. What would the score be? Well, these players had uh, second division. And you could argue maybe maybe people that don't really know the championship could say, oh, well, that's obviously English second division or whatever, but it's not really, is it? I mean, it's a championship, but they play second division in Austria. At the minute, I don't think the club's really where it used to be uh, in terms of like, you know I mean? winning leagues and whatnot and winning cups here, there and everywhere. So today I'm going to go for a butter 3-1. Let's see a 3-1. Who scores? I'm not bothered who scores. The one person I'm going to be looking at today is Martin Braithwaite. I've got my own views on that guy, um, do you know what I mean, about, you know what I mean, things that got said about the area and about the club and everything else, did it all come out of his mouth, we don't know, do you know what I mean, listen, it was up there in the air, wasn't it, so, that's the guy I'm going to be watching, do you know what I mean, if his attitude's right, and he's actually trying a bit for the badge, perfect, as well as everybody else, do you know what I mean, I'm watching every other player, but Martin Braithwaite, just for them comments I got said, you know what I mean, in like, sort of like, sort of like last season, it kind of bothered me a little bit, I just want to see if his heart 
fully there for the bottom, which I think is fair enough to me, me as a fan. If I'm paying my money um, towards games that he plays, I want to see that he's giving it 100%, and as well as everybody else giving it 100%. So, let's like say, you know what I mean? And to be fair, as much as what he said, he is a top player as well, Martin Bray, for it. So, it's one of them where about, you know I mean? We want to watch him, do you know what I mean? We want to see him put his skills on shore, link up well with uh, whoever he's striking his to, whether it be Steve Walker or whether it be Ashley Fletcher. Uh, like I say, you know, Hayden Natley, you know, I mean? the young lad who's obviously a midfielder, and to get forward. Do you know I mean there's so much opportunity there for obviously do you know what I mean almost like our younger players that are through to Australia to link up with obviously the first team or should I say maybe he's, or should I say maybe all the players um, and I say to me it's a fantastic opportunity for them to sort of express themselves short to why enough they want to be inside that first team come looting away on that Friday night so, I mean, do you know what I mean it's Jonathan Woodgate a first game in charge how will he get on we don't know but hopefully it's all good do you know what I mean hopefully I've judged by the pitches hopefully we are prepared well for this one it looks like it's been a decent trip to Austria for the lads. You know what I mean? It's been hard work. It's not been easy. It's been hot. Hot conditions out there. Do you know what I mean? Underneath the, underneath the sun. But it looks like the players have enjoyed themselves. It looks like everyone's full of confidence. Let's keep the confidence going. Let's keep the morale going. Let's make sure everyone's happy going to uh, Wednesday against Gateshead. I don't know how many Borough fans are going. Well, actually, I've been told a number between 220 to 250. But like I say, somebody confirm it for me because I don't actually know. That's all, well, listen, that's just like word to mouth. Do you know what I mean? That's all I've been told. So... Yeah, people, so put your squad predictions down below in the comment section. Are you looking forward to today's game? If you are, again, comment down below. Anything on the butter, anything on the Austria trip, or even a squad prediction, or even your probable sign 11 today, do comment down below in the comment section. And yesterday, I took the time to take a picture of St. James's Park. If you haven't seen the picture yet from Instagram, link is inside the description to all my social medias. People, butter fans, sports fans, I hope you've enjoyed the preview. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah. Up the border.